Hello and welcome everyone. Today we're looking at our Frost uh, Mage Talent Tree from the Dragonflight and let's go. We're having Ice Lines from the start. Quickly fling a shard of ice to the target, dealing uh, frost damage. Ice Lance damage is tripled against frozen targets. Yeah, so Ice Lance is on the Talent Tree, Blizzard as well, uh, so it's not baseline uh, ability, which is quite interesting. Uh, two seconds cast time to 8 seconds cooldown, ice shards pelt the target area, dealing frost damage over 8 seconds and reducing movement speed by 50% for 3 seconds. Uh, frozen Orb Launch launches an orb on of swirling ice up to 40 yards forward, deals frost damage to all enemies, deals reduced damage beyond the targets, grants one charge of fingers of frost when it first damages an enemy. Enemies damaged by the frozen orb are slowed by 30% for 3 seconds. So yeah, both these things we've had. Fingers of frost, of course. Frostbolt has a 30%, 15% chance to, and, uh, and frozen orb damage has a 10% chance to grant a charge of fingers of frost fingers of frost causes your next ice lands to deal damage uh, as if the target were frozen maximum two charges yeah all baseline stuff flurry unleashes a flurry of ice striking the target three times uh, for a total of uh, for some frost damage each hit reduces the target's movement speed by 70 percent for one second and applies winter chill winter chill to the target winter chill causes the target to take damage from your spells uh, as if uh, it were frozen so flurry our base like stuff as well um, shatter multiplies the critical strike chance of your spells against frozen targets by 1.5 uh, multiplies the critical strike chance and adds an additional 50% critical strike chance okay uh, pretty good uh, let's go with like left side of the tree yeah so frost uh, frost talent tree looks a bit like interesting with all the emptiness inside the uh, center of the of the talent tree brain freeze uh, frostbolt has a 30 percent chance to reset the remaining cooldown on flurry and cause your next flurry to deal 50 percent increased damage reset the remaining cooldown on flurry okay Okay, and cause you're, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, sorry, my brain is a little bit delayed tonight. Uh, Everlasting Frost. Frozen Orb deals an additional 30% damage and its duration is increased by two seconds. So that's more AoE. Straight up, Flurry now has two charges. Uh, Glacial Assault. Flurry has a 15% chance uh, each hit to call down an icy comet crashing into your target and nearby enemies for additional frost damage. Wow. Uh, and it's got 30% chance. So that's more AoE damage, uh, which is quite interesting already. Uh, choose one. Frozen Touch. Frostbolt uh, grants you fingers of frost and brain freeze 20% more often. So more procs. Or Ebon Bolt. 2.5 seconds cast time. 45 seconds cooldown. Launch a bolt of ice at the enemy, dealing 200% of spell power frost damage and granting you brain freeze. Okay, okay, so like, yeah, that's. Um, yeah, that's pretty interesting. Don't really know what to take here. Uh, both, talent, uh, both talents uh, seem pretty good. Uh, Deep Shatter, your Frost Bolt deals 20% additional damage to frozen targets. And 40% additional damage. Uh, Alright, uh, so in the center we have Cold Snap, recess the cooldown of your Ice Barrier, Frost Nova, Cone of Cold and Ice Block. Uh, then here we have choose one lonely winter replaces summon water elemental uh, with frostbolt ice, uh, frostbolt ice lands and flurry deals 25 percent increased damage which will you probably take uh, or summon water elemental wait a second you <coughs> summon the water elemental to follow and fight for you 30 seconds cooldown 1.5 seconds cast time how can it replace summon water elemental if you're not even getting it? All right, so like basically you're either gaining a pet or your frostbolt, ice lands, and flurry deals increased damage, which is quite obvious here. Uh, ice uh, color. Each time Blizzard deals damage, the cooldown of frozen orb is reduced by 0 0.5 seconds, which is again more AOE damage. Um, which is great. Snowstorm. Blizzard has a 30% chance to increase the damage of your next cone of cold by 10%, stacking up to 30 times. Uh, proc chance 30%. 
Uh, Blizzard, I guess not with your every hit from Blizzard on the targets, but only your cast of the Blizzard itself. Uh, okay, 30% here, uh, and then by 20% for your Cone of Cold when, And then your Cone of Cold probably can become very, very powerful damaging additional ability. Uh, Winter Tide increases Frost Ball damage by 7%. Okay, again, more damage increases for Frost Bolts. Fingers of Frost Empowered uh, Ice Lances deal 10% increased damage to Frozen. So this is 100% single target oriented, and this is 100% uh, AOE. Part of the part of the tree. Mm, Icy Veins. 33 three minutes cooldown accelerates your spell casting for 25 seconds, granting you 30% haste and preventing damage from delaying your spell cast. So just massive haste ability. Uh, which is, of course, of course, pretty handful and good. Frostbite uh, gives your chill effects a 10% chance to freeze the target for 4 seconds. Proc chance 10%. Okay, pretty good. Piercing cold. Frostbolt and icicle critical and glacial spike and icicle critical strike damage increased by 20%. So crit strike multiplier on top of all the things for frostbolt. Uh, great. Uh, bone chilling. Whenever you attempt to chill a target, you gain bone chilling, increasing your spell damage. Uh, spell damage you deal by 0.5% for 8 seconds, stacking up to 10 times. So, yeah, your chill chills uh, are increasing your damage as well. Uh, Sub zero. Your frost spells uh, deal 10% more damage to targets that are rooted or frozen. Okay, so again, more damage on frozen targets mostly. Uh, and flash freeze. Each time uh, each one of your icicles deals 10% additional damage, and when an icicle deals damage, you have a 5% chance to gain the fingers of frost effect. All right. Man, so much like. Uh, so, like, you can see that. Um Everything is so hardly interconnected. Everything like procs something that's gonna proc a other thing that's gonna multiply the damage of that thing on, on, on targets with this debuff and stuff like that. And then the cooldown is gonna reset and then we'll have an additional AOE proc on top of that. And then your chill can freeze and then your chill will gain you additional buff. So um, like there's not much uh, active abilities. There's not much new stuff as well. So like from from just like uh, new buttons that you can p uh, press. But uh, and it kind of a little bit reminds me about Beastmaster, uh, Beastmastery Talent Tree, because there is a very large amount of stuff that like packed inside a couple of spells. But here it's a way more elegant uh, way of packing everything inside this like tight, tightly uh, gripped uh, rotation, and it's way more interesting and it's way more complicated as well, and I like it very much. Even though it's even though it's not like many abilities uh, with like you you choosing between different styles of AOEs that you can use and stuff like that, it's very interesting because you you can combine everything in many ways. <clears throat> uh, splintering cold. Frost Bolt and Flurry have a 15% chance to generate two icicles. Okay, and then probably 30. Okay, so 30% chance to generate uh, two icicles. Uh, splitting ice. Your your ice lands and icicles now deal 5% increased damage and hit a second nearby target for for 65 percent of their damage yeah so we had something similar like that if i'm not uh, like wrong uh, your Eben bolt and glacial spike also hit a second uh, nearby target for 80 percent of its damage so that's for your cleave and that's for your like two boss uh, uh, encounters uh, all right, pretty interesting. Uh, then we have Ray of Frost. Uh, channel, 5 seconds cast time, uh, 1.25 minutes cooldown. Uh, a channel and icy beam at the enemy for 5 seconds, dealing 120% of spell power frost damage every 1 second, and slowing movement by 60%. Each time Ray of Frost deals damage, its damage and snare increases by 10%. Generates 2 charges of fingers of frost over its duration. Yeah, so our like Ray of Frost, uh, he, we have it here. I need to un, uh, train some abilities. Maybe that was, yeah, that was quite too much. 
Okay, so rain of uh, ray of frost, uh, hailstones, casting ice lands and fro on frozen targets has a fifty percent chance to generate an icicle and probably hundred percent chance. Okay, uh, glacial spike. 3 seconds cast time, uh, no cooldown, uh, oh, conjures a massive, sp uh, a massive spike of ice and merges your current icicles into it and impales your target dealing 341% uh, of spell power damage pulls uh, plus all of the damage stored in your icicles and freezes the target in place for 4 seconds. Damage may interrupt um, the freeze effect, it requires 5 icicles to cast. Passive Icelands no longer launches icicles. So that's if uh, I'm correct again that's the skill that we had already it's for your uh, style of play where you well you want to deal very massive damage with your one uh, cast of the spell where you want to have more uh, like heavy uh, castable long cool long not cooldowns but it has cooldown as well because it requires five icicles to cast but yeah like more uh, more heavy hitting long casted abilities instead of your uh, ice lances uh, spams which is quite interesting which is uh, which gives you choice again and it's Perfect. Uh, I see propulsion. Your damaging single target spell uh, critical hits reduce the cooldown of icy veins by one percent, which is probably going to be like massive on uh, bosses and PvP on like raids and PvP, uh, but mostly bosses. Mostly, mostly like uh, yeah, raids, raid encounters. Uh, snap freeze. Icy veins grants a charge of brain freeze and fingers of frost. Okay, so more packed into the icy veins. And freezing winds. While frozen orb is active, you gain fingers of frost every two seconds, which will help you with your AOE. Uh, slick ice. While icy veins is active, each frost bolt you cast reduces the cast time of frost bolt by two percent and increases the damage by two percent, stacking up to ten times. Uh, so yeah, your spam uh, of frost bolts during the um, icy veins is gonna be even more effective. Chain reaction: your ice lands against frozen targets increase your damage of your ice lands by by one percent for ten seconds, stacking up to five times. So just five percent more damage for ice lands while you're using them on frozen targets. It's so it's not like you're not uh, increasing your ice veins in this part of the tree. I guess no ice veins again. Ice veins duration is increased by ten seconds. So instead of twenty five, it's for it's thirty five seconds. Your ice lances against frozen uh, targets extend your ice veins by an additional one second. Okay, so more. Uh, more icy veins uh, duration uh, with your ice lenses. All right, pretty interesting. Uh, now, what do we have here? Uh, so that's we saw already. Freezing rain. Frozen orb makes Blizzard instant cast and increases its damage done by sixty percent for twelve seconds. What? One minute cooldown, of course you can lower it a little bit, but yeah, still pretty pretty massive thing for your AoEs. Uh, Comet Storm calls down a series of seven icy comets on and around the target that deals up to uh, seven multiplied by 42% of spell power, so like 42% 40, of spell power for each comet. It's instant, 30 seconds cooldown, first damage to all enemies within six yards of its impacts. Holy shit, that's very good for your AM, for your M+. Uh, fractured Frost. Your Frost Bolt has a 25% chance to hit up to two additional targets. Alright, so you're gaining pseudo, uh, pseudo AOE Frost Bolts, which is very, very handy. Uh, and Cold Front. Casting 30 Frost Bolts or Flurries calls down a Frozen Orb towards uh, the, your target hitting an enemy. Player counts as double. Okay, so that's just how we have a talent in Fire Mage 3 as well. So I very like Frost Mage. I like it very much. I hope... Um, maybe I'm uh, like maybe I'm not so, as, as uh, confident in my skill on this... Uh, on this spec but at least it sounds and looks pretty interesting complicated enough and stuff like that so yeah i'm all for it 
um, I think it looks pretty good. So hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe to my channel. Hope you're having a good day and goodbye.